and I bagged up all the blankets so they'd be dry for her. I could teach him about girls, and then we'll get a puppy. of sister loss has become unacceptable as big daddies are brought down like elephants under a pack of hyenas. In response, we've begun production of a newly designed big daddy model, nicknamed the Rumbler. He launches high explosive munitions to disperse groups of splicers, followed by miniature automated turrets to mop up the stragglers. Our tests find that the Rumbler's performance is highly effective, if messy. In Rapture's arms race, splicers aren't the only ones that are evolving.
yours to give. Listen, my supplier's got a new shipment of plasmids coming in, and I need you to pick them up from the lab in Hedon Plaza. There's a hidden switch to open the back door. It's tucked away under the cash register in the shop front. And don't let nobody see you do it. Otherwise, we'll have splices crawling all over the damn place trying to get a taste.
I do love Siren Alley. The kind of place you go to scratch an itch you're ashamed of, even in a town with no laws. But that's not why I favor it. The place started out as the Mason's Quarter, all builders and architects, proper as you please. And it just tickles me when someone in a fancy hat falls in the mud. Like a lot of the ladies down here, Siren Alley was born with a more respectable name, but only God remembers what it was. a new security system to stop me from seeing Amir and the other kids. But security's just made of bits and bobs. Like you are. And now we're the best of friends. Isn't that right? Anyway, Amir's got a whole book about the surface. It 
such as India and Ireland and... and everywhere. Yes, all right, Mr. Diary. If you must know, I do think Amir's kind of pretty for a dog eater. Uh, oh no! Retreat! Eleanor, come back here at once. Mother of mercy, I think that was Simon Wales. What's he done to himself? He and his brother were Rapture's architects, but when Doc Lamb came along, Simon got religion. He's got a kind of church down in the pumping station. Expect a reckoning when you arrive. Step away! Ah. <laughs> that won't save you! Gotta watch a 
older than you. You think I'm that dumb? Sure, sure, why not? You keep thinking that. My point is good. Oh, thank you. No. Let me, let me. Uh, I can't stand him! Where'd you go, lover boy? Soon, Daddy, soon. you rescued are on your side. Check the gatherer's garden for a package. One more 
I think Mother knows I'm helping you like this. She's accelerating my treatments. Don't give up on me. I drafted Rapture's blueprint together. Whales and whales, architects. Do you remember? But Andrew Ryan led us astray, my brother. Turned us from the Almighty. Dr. Lamb offers you salvation, Daniel. I ask only for proof that the barest flicker of faith remains in you. I left a gift for you at the Pink Pearl in your offices. Find the code on it, brother. We shall pray together for your sorry soul. Well, Mr. Diary, Mom's got a new security system to stop me from seeing Amir and the other kids. But security's just made of bits and bobs, like you are. And now we're the best of friends. Isn't that right? Anyway, Amir's got a whole book about the surface. It has India and Ireland. And... and everywhere. Yes, all right, Mr. Diary. If you must know, I do think Amir's kind of pretty for a dog eater. Uh, oh no! Retreat! Eleanor, come back here at once. System. Divert bots, turrets, and cameras to attack where you choose. Send friendly bots on errands.
I've got the maddening notion that I owe you my life, stranger. Such as it is, I'm sending you a care package to the new mo along the way. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Dr. Lamb. was among the ritziest lodgings in Rapture. But during the war, the residents put themselves up for sale. Daniel's office is on the top floor, I believe. saying he's always wanted to take the orders. He's Father Simon Wales now. If I ever see that Sophia Lamb in the street, I'm gonna give her the back of me feckin' hand, and a nut on the head besides. Oh, <laughs> 
some Johns in my time, and they've all got their kinks. But I think Rupert beats all. Keeps wanting me to splice up in the act. Says it'll heighten it for both of us. <laughs> I said, honey, I ain't doing it for the heights. I'm doing it for the scratch. Besides, Danny would have a fit if I started needling. He does it himself, of course. But what's good for the gander gets the goose thrown off the drop. Are you Simon? Oh. Oh. Here's me peace offering! That has to be Daniel. Hunt him down and pin his ears back, kid.
Thank you. 